what we're seeing out there as we head into your forecast. Now today it's close to what we saw outside yesterday. That means it's going to be chilly. It's going to be dry tomorrow. Not as cold for the morning, but cooler for the afternoon with rain and snow in the forecast and then even more mountain showers looking likely as we head into your upcoming weekend. So get ready. It's a big change of pace moving on in. As far as what we're seeing for tomorrow, a winter storm warning has already been issued for central Siskiyou County. I-5 heading up towards Oregon is going to be a bit problematic tomorrow. Keep that in mind. A couple inches of snow are possible along I-5. For some areas, we could be looking at up to 15 inches of snow above 4,000 feet. So get ready for that. Mainly that 15 inch mark that's going to be above 5,000 feet. But nonetheless, there is quite a bit of snow on the way in the areas close to the Oregon border and the coast. This morning, 20s to 30s in the valley, 30s to around 40 in the foothills, and we're seeing teens to 20s in most mountain areas. Wind not strong this morning, only 3 miles an hour out of the north right now in Red Bluff. We're going to see wind staying under 10 miles an hour throughout the day today, so not a whole lot going on with the winds today. Tomorrow, that's a different story. Satellite and radar, we're seeing clear skies right now. Moving forward today, we're going to see those clouds moving in as we head into your afternoon. Low pressure dropping out from the Gulf of Alaska, bringing that rain and snow into our forecast as we head into your Friday. It's also going to drive some very gusty south winds as well. So late in the day today, we're still seeing dry weather. Tomorrow morning, those showers move on through, and that's going to cause some big travel issues for the mountains. Lighter showers in the valley, but nonetheless, wet roads are expected. So you're going to want to plan ahead to give yourself extra time. And then you can see as we head through the weekend, North Valley area seeing a chance for some showers in Redding. Otherwise, it's mainly mountain showers as we head through your upcoming weekend forecast. Now, here's a look at what's projected as we head through tomorrow. You can see temperatures, or excuse me, uh, rain totals, not all that impressive. Somewhere between around a tenth of an inch to around a half an inch of rain likely for the valley. Higher elevations, some areas could be getting upwards of an inch. Snow totals, very impressive looking as we head into this weekend. Ten inches at Dunsmere. That's just through the day tomorrow. Could see a little bit more than that as we head through the rest of your weekend. We are going to see up to around five inches in Chester. So again, this is going to cause some major travel impacts in the mountains over the next couple of days. As far as what we're seeing for today, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the 50s for the northern mountains, mostly 40s to 50s in the Sierra and Cascades today. Foothill areas expected to see temperatures in the low to mid 50s for most locations. Could see 58 degrees today in paradise. Meanwhile, what we're seeing for the valley, low 60s for this afternoon. North winds to run 10 miles an hour. Partly cloudy as we head into your afternoon after a frosty morning. So get ready. It's chilly early today. Temperatures this afternoon on par with what we saw outside yesterday. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Low 60s for your Thursday, low 50s, Julia, for your Friday. So we are cooling on down. We'll see that chance for showers moving on through as we head through your Friday. Chico not as likely to see showers this weekend and will warm back into the high 50s Saturday and low 60s Sunday. Dry on Monday and then that next round of wet weather looking likely Tuesday. Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, but will also be much warmer for the start of next week. Reading 62 degrees with partly cloudy skies this afternoon, 48 degrees with rain showers tomorrow. It does not look likely that we'll see snow in Reading, but there is a slight possibility for that in the morning. And then you take a look at Saturday, mid to high 50s, a chance for showers, but more than likely the best chance for showers in Reading this weekend will be early in the day on Sunday. High 60s Monday and Tuesday, and then more showers and low 60s for the middle of next week's forecast. All right.